virtual intern experience. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, if it's your, if, if, if it's not, you've heard the spiel before, but um, this is our second year doing this program where we host daily conversations. I don't like calling it webinars, it seems so formal, but daily conversations with top leaders, executives, athletes, um, all of which we had this week in our kickoff week. Uh, we had an NFL star and we had a top executive and we had the chief mobility officer from state of Michigan. Uh, so all over the range and we'll continue to do that uh, for the next six weeks. So tune in every day uh, at 11 a.m. except for Mondays uh, where we will host a variety of speakers. And so uh, you can find all that information on virtual intern experience. Hopefully you all get our newsletters. If you don't, sign up for those so that you just can stay um, attuned to everything that's coming up and going on and, and so that you can register and join us. But this is our first ever Friday breakout networking session. Um, so you guys are all a part of <laughs> You're making history today because we're doing this for the first time. And to be honest, I am going to do our, our normal intro and spiel and, and gratitude to our sponsors. And then I'm actually relinquishing control. I've actually already, I am not even the host. Um, I've relinquished control uh, to our good friends at Michigan State University who are hosting us today. And they will be, they will be, be running the conversation and then hosting breakout rooms. And in reality, what this, what this actually, the, the response of this had was, or this is in response to last year, you know, we got a lot of feedback from students saying, hey, we want the opportunity to interact with each other. So I know a lot of you guys have your cameras off right now, but down the line, we'd love to see your faces. This is the, the platform to do that. And then we want you to have the ability to actually talk and interact. Oh, I see a couple pop on, thank you. Um, yeah, this is, this is truly your opportunity to interact with each other, meet each other, whether you're from the same school or you go to school uh, across the country from each other, you wanna learn about what, hey, where's your internship at? What are you doing? Um, that's one of the coolest things about our in-person events. So prior to virtual intern experience, we were the Detroit intern experience and we would do these large scale events. And one of the coolest things was watching all the students come together and talk about like, hey, I'm, I'm interning at you know, Blue Cross. Oh, I'm at DTE, what's your internship like? And it's, uh, it's just a really cool opportunity for you guys to engage with each other. So that is the goal and the purpose of this session and our Friday sessions moving forward. So hopefully you find value. Thanks everyone for turning on your, your cameras. This is so, I love to see you all. Um, so without further ado, cause I don't want to take up too much of uh, our, our guest time. I do, but I do want to give a huge shout out to our presenting sponsor, Delta Dental of Michigan. They are a dental insurance company that's really committed to building a healthy, smart, vibrant community for all. Um, I know we think dental insurance, um, but in reality, oral health really does affect public health, education, economic development, um, and it's confounded by the underlying issues like poverty, access to healthcare and education. So they're super committed to uh, you know, they, their work benefits nearly 1 million people every year, and uh, they are committed to their community partnerships. Um, we are a, a great partner, or they are a great partner to us second year in a row, and we're so grateful to them. So we're going to give them a shout out by way of a quick video.
All right, and I know that we are, MSU is hosting us today, uh, but I also want to give a shout out to um, our friends at the Broad College of Business. They are really, they're gonna join us a couple of times this summer uh, talking about what's next, whether that's an extraordinary job placement, uh, figuring out a salary, graduate programs, so they'll be joining us, but um, all summer long, they want you to know that if you're looking for uh, highly ranked masters and MBA programs to help you succeed, no matter what area of business you plan to pursue, uh, they have incredible faculty members, extensive alumni network, career services. Uh, and so you can find all that information at bro.msu.edu backslash partons. Uh, Two more, EY and One Magnify, two of my favorite companies. EY, if you're in, uh, if they have four integrated service lines, assurance, consulting, strategy and transactions, and tax. If any of that makes sense to you, uh, they're an incredible company uh, with a deep sector knowledge uh, where they can help their clients capitalize on new opportunities and assets, assess and manage risk to deliver responsible growth. And you can find more information about them and their career opportunities at ey.com. And One Magnify, who are near to, and dear to my heart, they're an awesome company. Uh, they, they connect marketing technology and analytics to draw more meaningful insights and provide greater impact to their clients' businesses' performance. So if you're into marketing, uh, one check out onemagnify.com as well. So. The last thing I'm going to end on is our digital handbook. This comes up because not only uh, do we, hopefully you saw it in yesterday's newsletter that you can download it, you can download it from the website, but I bring it up because I know Jane's gonna talk today about Who Logic, and in that digital handbook, you actually have a takeaway that you can keep that talks about, um, that talks about who logic. Let me see if I am prepared. I am. Hold on. One more share, guys, and then you're going to get to your programming, I promise. So this is the digital handbook that you can download. And it really gives, yeah, we have some shout outs to our sponsors, but what it does is it gives you an overview of each of our speakers. Um, so these were our, our speakers this week. Uh, and every speaker moving forward. It also gives you direct contact. You can click, all these are clickable to the speakers LinkedIn for you to connect directly with them and um, get their contact information. So today, you know, if you wanna take notes, but then also here's the, what I was talking about. Jane's gonna be talking about this and this is something that you have in that file and folder and um, just lots of tips and tricks and and like I said, most importantly, connection straight to our speakers. So please utilize that. Now, without further ado, this is very exciting for me. I get to kind of uh, just be a spectator like you guys, a participant. So with that being said, I'm going to let Jane introduce herself and take it over from here. Thanks everyone for joining. Have fun. All right, thanks, Carrie. Hey, everyone. Welcome to internship optimization and networking. Yep, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about networking. We're actually going to practice a little bit of networking. Um, this is a very safe space, y'all. We're just a community of learners hanging out with each other, very informal. Um, so we are going to, we're going to play around with networking. We're also going to play around with um, introducing you to a tool that will help you measure the value of your summer experience, whatever that is. If it's an internship, if it's a part-time job, if it's volunteering, if you're taking classes, whatever you're doing, we're going to introduce you to a tool to help you measure that experience. Why? Um, because you're probably going to have to market the skills that you've acquired this summer or enhanced. Um, you're going to have to pitch, likely. Um, so we want to give you a little tool called Who Logic to help you with that. Who am I? I'm Jane Iverian. I'm a career design strategist with the Center for Spartan Engineering at Michigan State University. I also have my own company called Who Logic. 
Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about who in a few minutes. Um, with me, though, is my, my new friend and colleague and partner in crime, Aditya. Would you be willing to introduce yourself? Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Aditya Ashok. Everybody calls me Adi. Um, I'm a rising senior in Michigan State, uh, pursuing a double major in computer science and data science. Um, but yes, uh, learning a lot from Jane Avarian and from Who Logic, and hopefully we'll be able to share some networking tips and you know tips to optimize your job and internship opportunity today. So it's nice to meet all of you. Well, thanks, Adi. Hey, Garth, you better introduce yourself. Thanks, Jane. I'm Garth Machenbacher. I also work in the Center for Spartan Engineering. I uh, report directly to Adi, so you know anything that goes on today that you like, please let him know, and uh, that would be go far in my evaluation going forward. Just pleased to to be a part of this. This is something that that uh, we talked to Carrie about, and so I'm very excited about what Jane and Adi have prepared for you today. Cool. Thanks, Garth. Thanks, Adi. Okay, let's think about this for a second. We are in this Zoom room, so if you're in the speaker view right now. Turn it over to the gallery view. Take a look at these small tiles and all of the faces that are here. And please, please do turn on your camera if, if you can. Um, you know, we don't care if you just woke up. We don't care what's going on. Just, uh, you're safe. Just turn your camera on. Um, the amazing thing that we have right now is this potential to network with each other. I know that might sound weird. We're in a Zoom room. We're, we're spread out across the country, maybe even the world. Who cares? Um, we have a platform to actually help us network. Um, if you think about this idea of networking, you know what? In this room right now, you might, you might actually be able to interact with your future business partner or your future life partner. Or there might be somebody in this room who becomes your best friend for life. We don't know. But this is an opportunity for you to connect. You know, as a career coach, um, I think the most common question I get related to networking is, how do you do it? And is there a step-by-step -step approach you can take? Sure. In fact, we'll actually take a look at um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the opportunity to look through a chapter of, of my book called Who Logic, the networking chapter. Um, and you can see a step-by-step -step approach. But when I think about what, what really happens um, when you, when you kickstart networking and when you're doing networking, which is really important, by the way, um, to advance your career for a lifetime, when you're doing it, it's as simple as what we just did. You're introducing yourself. So networking is really just introduction. It's asking questions. It's actively listening to the person who's sharing with you. It's really just that all it is is being curious. You are all curious humans. I know that we are all curious. So what we want to do is give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to each other. I mean, there's like 46 participants in this room. So if we took the time for each of you to verbally introduce yourself, we might be here for hours, which would be awesome, but I know we need to be sensitive to time. So we're gonna use technology. Um, what we have uh, is a Google folder for you. And Adi is gonna, yeah, Adi is sharing the link to the Google folder. So we have some gifts for, gifts for you in the Google folder and I'm gonna head over there in just a second. Um, but open up that Google folder and I'll meet you there in just a sec. All right, you should see what I'm seeing right now. Um, Carrie, since you show up on my screen and, and are the first one, can you, you give me a thumbs up if you see my Google folder? Awesome. Okay, so Carrie mentioned the virtual intern handbook. Yep, we are blasting this all over the place for you because it's an awesome tool. It's sitting right here in the, in the Google folder. Download this stuff. This is content for you um, that we believe is, is gonna be really helpful in terms of networking and supporting your networking efforts. 
and assessing the value of your summer experience and beyond. So if you take a look at what's in here, yep, we've got the virtual intern experience handbook. We've got chapter eight from my Who Logic book. It's the networking chapter. You can learn about fast networking. You can learn about slow and steady networking. There's a networking conversation tips document in here that you can download that might be useful for you. And then we'll come back and explore a little bit more about the other content, which is very much focused on uh, Who Logic and how to use it. For now, if you haven't already, this is, I kind of stall a little bit because I want to know if you're already in here doing some things. Let's see what's happening. Hey, hey. All right. So we want you to use this, use this spreadsheet to introduce yourself. Yes, there we go. Aditya is starting to, to fill this in. Your name, your email address, list one hobby. See, here's some questions. List a hobby, list something you want to learn. Tell us where you're studying. If you're working this summer, fill it in. Um, yeah, grab a row, claim a row, and then just fill it in. Let's see what's happening. Okay, Dungeons and Dragons, I love that. Hockey, spinning, all kinds of good stuff in here. If you're just joining us, you can go into chat and you can pull the link for the Google folder that we're playing around with right now. Yeah, continue to introduce yourself. All right, so you all continue populating those fields. All we're doing is some networking right now. We're introducing ourselves and we are populating um, these fields by answering some questions. I'm gonna stop the share function, but that doesn't mean you stop introducing yourself. Okay, Adi. I really want to turn it over to you because you are the expert. Garth is right. Um, you are a virtual internship program veteran. You fully engaged in this experience last summer. And I know you're super passionate about um, networking opportunities that are available as part of this program. And I know you're really passionate about networking in general. So please share with all of us in this great community of learners that we're in right now, share what worked for you last year. Um, and what's your advice around networking? Thanks, Jane. Um, before I start off, I do want to add, um, fill in uh, the uh, exhaust the, the Google sheet with your details and make sure you go back to it. That we will not delete the Google Drive folder, so you always will have access to it, um, to the resources in there, and to you know, just all of your uh, peers, uh, details, interests, hobbies, and things like that. Um, so I really, really enjoyed the virtual intern experience last year, it was it, it helped me grow a lot. Um, but one thing that I would have loved last year, if it was there, was the opportunity or the ability to interact with my fellow peers who are in the same boat as I am, right? And this is that opportunity for you guys to connect with everybody on this call um, and you know, build those connections, establish your network through people and students in different universities and students interested who tune in every day with you. But beyond that, about the virtual intern experience, um, I'm so grateful for it because it has had a very, very positive impact on me. Um, I learned a lot about myself, about networking, about you know, uh, growth just in uh, the corporate world or like in your career. Over the past summer, just talking to all these leaders and you know, putting myself out there. So. I'll share with you a few tips and tricks that worked for me last year that I still use to this day to um, network, right? Um, so the first one is don't just show up, be interactive. Um, this is an opportunity, and this is especially with the virtual intern, uh, intern experience. This is an opportunity to introduce yourself to a lineup of accomplished leaders. Show up prepared for the sessions. Um, ask questions, try to gain as much as you can from these speaker sessions. Right? Um, 
like that mentioned earlier as well i highly 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 recommend making yourself visible um and audible especially while asking sessions uh, asking your questions if not through the entire sessions because this it, it it's key to establish that connection right and second thing again specifically with respect to virtual intern experience is connect with these speakers beyond just the speaker session Kerry puts in a lot of effort in coming up with the handbook or you know sharing um the linkedin profiles of all these uh, accomplished leaders and you know some of them even share their emails and chat by the end of the session these truly are golden nuggets that all of us should make the most of if we chat to them after the sessions contrary to what we assume these leaders actually do want to interact with students in emerging leaders they want to give back to their alma maters the communities and especially students right so we it's up to us to make the effort um so try to set up one on one meetings with them after the session don't limit yourself to just showing up during a speaker session make use of opportunities like linkedin and direct emails it it does work it really does work right but apart from that here are a few things that are applicable universally not just with this uh with this speaker uh, series and virtual intern experience specifically but while they're talking always be professional be calm uh, be courteous um you know your thank yous sorries appreciation gratitude all of it and most of all be respectful it's very being professional is very very important while establishing connections especially when reaching out to somebody for the first time regardless of the kind of conversations you had before regardless of you know the atmosphere they create when they connect with you on professional pat, uh, platforms like linkedin or when you're cold dming uh, or you know cold emailing be 100% professional be punctual um time is the most valuable asset anybody can ever have and as you go higher up the leader uh, corporate ladder and you know once you have more responsibilities and like most of the speakers on the lineup that um carry has for us time is their most valuable asset so honor your commitment do not do not stand anybody up if something does come up let them know the earliest people are understanding but always be punctual and don't stand anybody up um always follow up thank them for their time after the session if you meet them one on one or if you uh, get a conversation with them thank them for your, for their time always follow up and if they haven't responded back in a long time follow up and find out what happened your message might get lost in an in inbox of a thousand their inbox of a thousand emails so always follow up it's never a bad idea to be respectful but follow up um be clear make your intentions very clear don't beat around the bush keep it clear and concise again wasting their time is a bad bad idea so keep it clear uh, and yeah keep it clear um these next two tips are i think the most important that has worked for me like a charm be yourself there is nobody in the world like you don't be pretentious don't do anything you're not just keep it raw don't be afraid to express yourself um like jane said be curious right and be yourself and connect with them on a very very personal note so my second tip is make it personal people get millions of emails and dms every day they interact with 7 billion people in the world right why should they respond to you or give you their time make it personal read up and find out about about whoever you want to connect with how can they help you what part of their life what experience in their life stood out to you what exactly do you want to learn from them right connect to, like connect them with a purpose make it personal establish that personal area to connect on between the both of you right don't connect with anybody unnecessarily or try to set up meetings very unnecessarily and you know have a bland conversation saying hey i want to learn from you because that's what everybody wants to do what is your reason to connect with them 
establish that connect with a purpose right these those were my tips those uh this is what worked for me um networking is an absolute absolute gift right um and i've included i've shared with kerry most of my tips most of what has worked with worked for me in the handbook take advantage of the handbook guys i cannot stress how how much you can take advantage of the resources that we're sharing today that Kerry has shared for you and will be sharing with you for the rest of the summer. Take advantage of it. It it really is, you know, going to be helpful for you guys. Um, but yes, that's about it. When me and Jane were talking about something and we came up with this quote, once you start talking to people, everything just fits into place. So go up there talk network be curious be yourself thanks adi such great advice okay so think about all of that think about everything that adi just shared with you um we want to give you an, just a really safe space to just play with this and practice remember what i said earlier in this zoom room could be your future business partner life partner friend whatever um we want you to go play. So we're going to actually put you into breakout rooms for about eight minutes. Um, all we want you to do is just introduce yourself to each other. There'll be three or four of you in a room and use the spreadsheet, you know, talk about your hobby, talk about where you're going to school, talk about where you're working, whatever, but share. Everyone take a little bit of time. Um, everyone should should share a little something, but do it for eight minutes and and then we'll see you when you come back. I'm going to go ahead and get these breakout rooms going. Um, you know, math is always a little hard for me, so we're going to make 12 rooms and you're going to be randomly assigned. We get, we're going to give you eight minutes with a 15 second return. Go introduce yourself to each other. We will see you soon. Have fun with this. Oh, two, three, um, okay. Kyrell, are you headed over to a room? Oh, good. Okay. Jen. Jen, are you headed over to a room? Hey, Jen, are you headed over to a room? Maybe not with us. One of the carries is in a room. Okay, we'll I'm see just what happens. I'm DMing Jen, but I guess she got to her room. Okay, cool. Although I don't see her on the list really quickly. Who, Jen? Yeah, I was, I was trying to add her, but. Yeah, maybe she ducked out. Yeah, <laughs> Carrie kind of poked me and said, hey, <laughs> are you guys gonna put them in breakout rooms? But she took 10 minutes for her intro. So, yeah. so we're good. I think we're okay. Yeah, great. How long did I take? Did I take five minutes, 10 minutes? How long yeah, you were, you were fine. You were good in terms of time. Yeah, good content, good stuff. Thank you, thank you. Yes. That's monotonous. No, yeah, you know, and I love that quote sitting right here on my mirror. Everything just falls into place when you start talking with people. So I added uh, Ali Bannon, Julia Martin, and Marlena Malaji um to the 
Google list. I think that's everybody that messaged and said they couldn't add in. Okay. Oh, so um, I also added, what was the other one I added? Uh, Whitman. Oh, okay. Nicole, Nicole Whitman. And Marlena Majaji said she couldn't. Yeah, I added her as well. Cool. And Julia thank Martin you. and Allie Bannon. Great, thank you. So I miss you, 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 I miss you. And I see a little bit of U of M in that. Yeah, a little bit, but no, I think that's it. Wisconsin. Oh, it was Wisconsin. Oh, cool. So I think when they get back, we'll um they'll be back. It'll be about 11.35. So I think, what do you think, Aditya? We, should we just have them like throw a little bit in chat? Um, what, what was this like for you? Or do we wanna take that kind of time? I wanna, I wanna give them some sort of something, something to process. Oh, I can't hear you. Yeah, I think that's more important. Maybe we can just ask them to put put talk about their experience in the chat, maybe. But uh, as they put it in, I think we should go ahead and talk more about who logic and optimizing your okay. Okay, and that'll that'll take me no more than five minutes. They've got the material in the folder; they can go explore on their own a little. I think you you might want to mention. I think everybody knows this. The the student that indicated from the, the one that you did Monday that they've already formed a, um, a group meet uh, on yeah. baking or cooking or something yeah. like that. So, yeah. Yep. Evidently, no one wants to spin with me. Ah, oh, damn it, Garth. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about forming a spinning group and seeing uh, if I could get like a famous Spartan to spin with us uh, once a week as part of the class. So I know uh, President Stanley spins. I know um, the Chief Diversity Officer Jabbar spins. I know um, Mel Tucker, the football coach, spins. Um, there's a few other spinners in the lead lead group at Michigan State. And I thought, how cool would that be if I could, you know, host a 7 a.m. spin class? And, uh, and we're going to be joined by you know Coach Tucker this morning, or you know President Stanley, or Jabbar, uh, somebody like that. Okay, by spinning you mean the cycling, right? Indoor cycling. Gotcha. Oh, okay. I'm okay. a pelotoner. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Back I spun this morning before I came to see you guys. Woohoo! Because Jane Brow beat me last night. I did. <laughs> and then and then Bernadette called me last night and goes. How was your session with Jane? Is there anything I have to worry about for tomorrow? It's all good. All good. <laughs> she couple, did not. Couple bruises. She did. Couple of bruises. That's it. You guys are so funny. <laughs> we, we laugh about you, Jane. We go, man, did you know she was so hooed? I go, oh, yeah. She's hooed up. She's full of hooed. All right. I'm going to be really quick. I, I have a former student who he and his, they just had a baby. And, you know, I was asking him to share some of his observations about, you know, what he's, what he's experiencing as a father. So he's describing all of these observations. And I'm like, you know, this is all about documenting and reflecting because when she's, you know, in puberty, she's going to want to know what you were thinking about her ability to lift her head. You need to whoify this. What is she doing? How is she doing it? What are her intended outcomes? What's her why? <laughs> that's, that's how who I am. <laughs> it's so bad. Hey, how much time do we have left in the breakout rooms? Uh, 30, 30 seconds. And then they'll, then they should be, they should be coming back in about 25 seconds. Why? Because I'd been invited to room eight, I was going to zoom over and just see what they were doing. But if it's 30 seconds, forget it. Yeah. 
Yep, they'll be coming back. Here looks good, Addy. No, I need to. I need to get it. I had a big. I went to a blow. I had a big blowout this morning. <laughs> All right, they should be coming back pretty soon. Here we go. Woohoo! I love it when it, the repopulation happens. It's so cool. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you. All right, let's see what happened here. Um, this should have been fun. I'm not trying to pre-program you, but this should have been fun. You should have learned some things. Um, okay, is networking difficult? Yes or no? Go to chat. Is it difficult? Start talking to us. Yes, no. It's not difficult, not really. Okay, yes, sometimes it's tough. You're just asking questions. Yeah, just be curious. We love that. Yes, super safe space. You can take this same strategy, what we just did here, where you're chatting with each other. Actually, oxytocin gets produced. It's at the feel good hormone. When, when you start connecting with other humans, you actually start feeling pretty good. So it's just about, it's just about chatting and you can prepare, you know, you can spend a little bit of time learning a little bit about, um, you know, someone that you want to talk to, maybe they work at a company that you're really interested in, or their job title is just fascinating to you. Spend a little bit of time. What does that company do? How does the company produce value? What outcomes does it produce? You know, you can, you can actually use who to help you prepare for conversations. What does this person do? How do they do the work they do? What outcomes do they produce? Go to their LinkedIn profile, do a little research before you, before you reach out and, and try to have a meeting with them. Just take some risks. Life's about taking a few risks. That's all we did this morning. We just, we're just taking a few little risks by chatting with each other. So all good. Great job, everybody. Can we please use the reactions and give us all like some clapping? Garth is saying, link in with me. Go to, go to Garth's LinkedIn page and link in with him. I have a really easy name to remember, Jane Ivarian. You can find me really easily on LinkedIn. Please link in with me as well. Aditya, same thing. Link in with him. Use LinkedIn. We are safe. Connect with us. Be brave. Okay. One more thing. I know we're, we're running tight on time, but we really wanted to give you this opportunity to connect with each other. So what I want to do is I want to head back to um, the file folder. And Garth, give me a thumbs up if you can see that I'm back in the Google Drive. Okay. Um, maybe Aditya, if you want to one more time, put the link to the Google folder in uh, chat just, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to open up uh, the WhoLogic one pager, and I just want to give you a really quick outline of what this is. Um, it's super easy. So we, we've talked a lot about networking, but you're doing stuff this summer. You're, maybe you're in an internship, part-time job, volunteering, taking classes. What's really important is that you measure the value of this experience so you can market it. What do I mean market it? Well, you can talk about it when you're in an interview. If you're having a networking conversation and somebody says to you, hey, what did you learn last summer? You wanna be ready to share that. So all Who Logic is, is this really, really very, very simple valuation tool. It, it just uses these three basic questions to help you uncover the value of your skills and experiences. What did I do? How did I do the work? and what outcomes did I produce? You can even, if you're taking classes this summer, you can think about the courses that you're taking from a Who Logic perspective. But here's an example of how it's used on resumes. This is what I call a value point from a resume, not a bullet point. It's a value point because it's articulating the value of an experience. So this particular person built 
a social media presence for a company, a small company. So that's what they did, underlined in red. The blue underline denotes how they did this work. They use coupons, campaigns, and Google Analytics. What was the outcome outlined in green? Increased sales by 25% within six months of launch. It is super important for you to uncover, articulate, and leverage the value of your experiences. A recruiter, an interviewer is never gonna do that for you. You need to know the value. And value is found in the how and the outcome associated with your experiences. If you just say, I built a social media presence, the answer to that is, who cares? We need to know the value. And the way you get there is by thinking about how you did the work and the outcome associated with that. Why? Because actually companies make hiring and pro promotion decisions based on evidence of your potential to add value. So you can use WhoLogic for resume design. You can use it for, for interviews. You know, here's a question. Tell me about a time you overcame an obstacle. How do you use the framework? What was the situation? How did you handle the situation? Meaning the skills and strategies and methods that you used and what outcomes were produced. Here's the thing, mastering who logic supports lifelong career development. If you figure out this valuation mindset using these very simple questions, what, how, and outcome, even thinking about what you will do, what will I do, how will I do it, what outcomes do I want to produce, you're actually going to build a valuation mindset and that means you're able to generate evidence and confidently share the value of you forever. So if you want to learn a little bit more about who logic, you can access the book. There's a little Q, whatever those things are, the, the code. Um, the other thing you're going to find in the file folder, uh, an internship optimization chapter. You can take a look at the character in the book. Her name is Jane T. Avatar. She's not named for me. She's named for Jane Doe. But you can watch how she is optimizing her internship through these weekly valuations that she's doing on her work. What am I doing? How am I doing it? What outcomes am I producing? There's even a valuation workbook in the Google folder. So if you want to use it to assess your experiences over this summer, go for it. So it's all here, all in the file folder. We're back to you know seeing each other, or at least I'm back to seeing all of your wonderful faces. Um, I know we've taken a lot of time, but we also want to open up for some Q and A. And if any of you need to take off, we completely understand it. Um, but make sure that you hang out if you've got any questions for us, because we we are happy to start responding. And you can throw those in the chat. Let me just add, Jane, that, you know, Jane and I um, met each other through a simple uh, networking opportunity that came through a classroom experience over 30 years ago, where, you know, the, pro the, um, the professor asked a question, and uh, Jane raised her hand, and the professor said yes, and she says, I want to know what he thinks, and she pointed directly at me, the grad student in the room, and that's how our relationship began. So it can begin as easy as as that, and then uh, Adi and myself joint met just like we're meeting today. He was one of you in the boxes a year ago, and um, Adi used LinkedIn to reach out to me. Uh, he connected every morning. He would say hello through through the chat to me, and uh, from that we made a connection. And lo and behold, here he is today, uh, running the show with Jane, uh, teaching you all how to network. He's one of the best networkers I've ever met. And I'm not just saying just for his age that I have ever met. And part of it is just being genuine, sincere. And I think uh, either Adi or Jane mentioned this before, listening. Uh, it's a two-way conversation. It's not all about you. It's about them as well. Just how you've built your regular friendships. You do that through networking as well. And I just threw in the chat, there's a great session that Carrie has lined up for you on Monday with Sarah Zygman from LinkedIn to teach you more about creating your profile on LinkedIn. I know some of you uh, have been asking about that. So great session on Monday. If you can hit it, hit it uh, to do that. So I'll shut up again. Tuesday. Thanks, Garth. That, that, Thank LinkedIn, that LinkedIn one is on Tuesday, everyone. Yeah, Tuesday. on Tuesday. It's the oh, next yeah. one. It's the next one. <laughs>
just adding to what Gar said, you know, connecting all of the pieces together, you know, internship optimization and converting your whatever opportunity you have into the next step, an internship into a full-time job, networking goes a long way. Even when you're working, the way your uh, internship gets turned into a full-time job is when your manager and everybody you've interacted with on your project teams recommend you for the full-time job, right? So keep talking to people, build connections with everybody, you, everywhere you go. And I, I will say it again, everything starts falling into place once you start talking to people to establish those connections. Absolutely, I couldn't put it any better.